What is going on you guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Loom Cube monitor light bar which I have back there on my monitor and I've been using this for about a month and honestly I think it's a great addition to your desk setup but if you're thinking of getting the Loom Cube one I think there's a lot better options out there on Amazon for less than half the price. Let's talk about that. Okay so to begin with light bars actually have a lot of benefits when it comes to using them alongside your monitor. First of all, they really are great task lights. I know they sell lamps. Usually a lot of people used to have lamps, but now monitor light bars are actually a lot better just because they direct light directly at the front of the monitor, which is where you usually complete a lot of tasks and they don't shine that bright light directly at your eyes, just like a lamp would. The monitor light bar also is really great at shining light only on your desk, which is really great if you don't want to really light up the whole room. Maybe you have kind of a vibe going on where you have RGB blue lights alongside the whole room, but you do want to still have some light on your desk so that you're able to complete any task, whether it's writing down notes, writing down on a calendar, or if you're just using it as a reading light. The light bar was actually really helpful for me when my desk was in my bedroom. I was able to wake up early like I always do. My wife likes to sleep in so then I could turn on the task light and only light up my desk without really disturbing her sleep. Now the light bar offers all of these same great benefits and it comes in at $80 which is a little bit cheaper than the BenQ light bar which is the most popular one on Amazon and really anywhere else. Now the light bar does come with an optional Bluetooth remote which I highly suggest you get if you're looking to get this light bar just because we're going to be talking about some design flaws that I think the Bluetooth button really does help. Now, if you do decide to go with the Bluetooth button route, that is an extra $25, which brings your total cost of the light bar plus button to $105, which is still cheaper than Ben Q's light bar, which I believe comes in around 170, 180 for the Bluetooth button version. And this Bluetooth button offers the same benefit as you would get from the BenQ one. Now for the design of the light bar, it does have a big logo branding on the left side. It has a name and a logo, and then there's also a little small logo on the button dial itself. That's part of the light bar. So it does, it is a little bit minimal, but at the same time, it is very noticeable, the one in the front. So you're always gonna be seeing the logo, always gonna be seeing the name brand, which isn't really an issue, but it is a little bit more noticeable than you would get with something like the BenQ one that's kind of etched into the light bar itself. So when it comes to the way it looks and the design, this is very preference based. So if you don't mind the logos, it is a really good light bar. But when it comes to the objective design of this light bar, there actually is some flaws like the stand that it uses to attach to the monitor actually is not that heavy, which means that this light bar moves a lot. So what that means is that whenever you're going to be adjusting the light bar itself, whether you want it to look lower or you want it to light up a little bit more of your desk, a lot of the times the light bar itself just comes right off of the monitor, which can be a problem if you're adjusting it a lot of the times. Luckily, this light bar, if you set it up once, you don't really have to touch it again. Again, the Bluetooth button will kind of help you avoid ever really messing with the light bar. Once you have it set it, it's set it and done. You never have to touch it again. Now the light bar is adjustable for color temperature and brightness. And like I mentioned before, the dial is on the right side of the light bar. So you can go ahead and twist it up, I guess, or to the right clockwise to adjust higher and then counterclockwise to adjust lower. And to change between color and also the brightness, you just have to click the button. Unfortunately, this button is a little bit difficult to turn. And like I mentioned, the back part of the light bar is really lightweight. So sometimes when you're twisting it clockwise, you do tend to move the light bar itself. And then whenever you twist it counterclockwise, you do move the light bar down, sometimes lifting it off of the back of the monitor, which can be a problem if you're not careful and you adjust it a little bit too fast or a little too hard you can kind of take the monitor light bar off of the monitor and possibly break it. Now, like I mentioned, luckily you can just set it and then it's done. You don't really have to adjust it. And I did get the button to kind of avoid ever touching the light bar. I have it set at this angle and I rarely mess with it. Now, unfortunately the button also has some flaws, which I didn't really like. Um, first of all, it doesn't really stick to the desk and it's not heavy. It's kind of made of plastic. So because of that, whenever again, you're adjusting it, you tend to move the button around on the desk, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, when you first open the button, there is a little bit of sticky rubber on the bottom. So once you set it on your desk, it actually won't move and mine didn't move for a little bit, but then I took it off of the desk stand. I used to have a laptop stand. I took it off of that 
and then all of the residue at the bottom is just completely gone so now it's no longer sticking to any surface the second flaw is that the battery door at the bottom of the button actually comes off really easily sometimes when you're adjusting it if you happen to lift the button up the battery door falls right off which then is just can get lost easily luckily the battery doesn't come out so you can still use a remote but it is very difficult when every time you have to move the remote or you adjust it that the battery door just comes off by itself. Now I kept this light bar and button combo. I've been using it for the past month, but I think that for $105, you can probably find something else, which honestly brings me to the sketchy part of this combo. And that's that there's some other ones that look exactly the same. It has the exact same Bluetooth button that's less than half the price on Amazon. Now for that price on Amazon, that's exactly kind of where I would price this monitor light bar and but in combo, the price to quality ratio, that's around where I would think it was around $40 for this combo because they're mostly made of plastic and there is a lot of flaws to them. I will be linking both the Loom Cube and the one from Amazon down below so you can check them out for yourself. The model is a little bit different such as the one I'm linking doesn't have the dial on the monitor light bar itself. It's actually touch controls, which you can touch on the top to adjust whether you wanna adjust the color temperature or the brightness but overall the functionality of the light bar and the button is exactly the same. Which brings me to my next point, which is the functionality of this light bar is actually really great. Being able to adjust the color temperature and brightness has been really helpful. Like I mentioned, I used to use this on my desk in a dark bedroom. So being able to put a little bit less light just so that my desk isn't really bright in the bedroom was helpful. Being able to use that Bluetooth button to not really touch or adjust the light bar itself has been really helpful. I'm keeping this light bar because just of the functionality of a light bar itself is something that I really recommend that you get one for yourself as well. Just go with the Amazon one if you're thinking of getting something like this, or if you can save up the money, you can shell out another $100 to get the BenQ one. That's also really great. Overall, the light bar works really great. It hasn't really given me any issues in terms of functionality. I can still use it daily. I can use it plugged into the power outlet or to my USB-C dock and it powers it enough to always be on. It's always those really small details that are tedious to always be dealing with them. But overall, the experience has been really good. I've been using it obviously for the past month and I'm going to keep using it. Let me know down in the comments whether spending an extra $100 is worth it for you to upgrade to the BenQ one. That's going to be a little bit better quality, but it's also going to be $100 more. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.